Okay, so let's have a look at chord frames, also known as chord boxes or chord grids or chord shapes or chord forms, whatever the case may be. Basically, it's just a visual representation of the guitar. So what you can see there is that little box. The thick black line refers to my nut. Okay, then I've got six vertical lines as well. And those are my strings. The furthest, the one on the left, would be my sixth string, which is E. Right next to it, we would have the A string. Next to that, the D string. Next to that, the G string. Next to that, the B string. And next to that, the E string. So that's E, A, D, G, B, and E. Okay, so now the horizontal lines, those are the frets, okay, which is these thin silver metal wires all across the guitar. Okay, so basically that's what the, the lines tell us. We've got the thick line, is the nut, the vertical lines are my strings, and the horizontal lines are my frets. Okay, now obviously there's a little bit of extra information on there still. On, on the strings you'll see black dots, those represent fingers. Okay, so if there's a, a black dot on the third fret, or the third space, which we call the third fret, of the A string, then you're going to be putting a finger on that note. If it was on the second fret, I'd put it there. If it was on the first fret, I'd put it there. Okay, so before we move on, let's just quickly discuss the left hand fingering. The index finger is finger one, the pointing finger. Your middle finger is number two. The third finger, our ring finger, is number three. And the pinky is number four. So that's finger one, two, three, and four. The thumb is uh, normally represented by a T, just a T for thumb. In this case, we're not going to look at any chords using the thumb yet, but now you know fingers one, two, three, and four. Okay, so let's have a look at that chord grid again. In this case, we're going to have a look at the chord C. Okay, so let's take that from the, from the highest string, which we know is E. If you look at that chord shape, then you'll see there's no black dots on that string, the first string that is. So that means I'm not going to put any fingers on that string. But you'll notice that behind the nut, there's a little zero on, on that first string which means I'm going to play that string open. You can call it a zero, you can call it an O, whatever the case may be, but it means we play the string open. Now if you look at the second string, you'll see there's a black dot on there, and it makes use of the first finger, and you see that by looking down, down the string there, you'll see there's a number one, which refers to my finger. So now you're going to put your first finger on the first fret of the second string. So the first string is being played open with no fingers. The second string, I put my first finger on fret one. The third string, as you can see, it's open, the same as the first string. The fourth string is finger two on the second fret. And the fifth string is finger three on the third fret. So now if I play those five strings together, then I get a C chord. Now you'll notice I did not play the sixth string E, and um, if you look at the chord grid, you'll see there's no fingers on that string, and that there's a little X written behind the nut, which means we don't play that string. So there's a number of ways for me to not play that, uh, which we'll cover in later lessons, but... Um, you can just use your third finger in this case to touch that string so that it doesn't sound out. Okay, so that's how you're going to read a chord grid. Let's have a look at two more before, before we end this part of the lesson, just so that you can get the hang of it. Let's look at an E major chord grid. Okay, once again, let's start with the highest string U. Welcome to start with the lowest string. Um, that's fine, whichever way reads easier for you. Okay, the first string, you'll see there's no fingers on that, and there's a zero, 
behind the nut, which means we're going to be playing it open. The same for the second string, it's just being played open. Now the third string, I need to put my first finger on the first fret. Okay, and the fourth string, which is D, you'll see it's the third finger on the second fret. And it's also the second finger on the second fret of the A string. And in this case, the E string, the thick E, low E, is being played open. Okay, we're going to look at some tips when it comes to playing these chords in a second. I just want to make sure you understand how to read these chord grids. Let's look at very, one very last chord grid. Uh, let's look at an A major. Okay, and just for the hell of it, let's start reading it from the left this side. This time, the, the thickest string has got a cross behind it. So guess what? We're not going to play that string. The fifth string is open. Okay, then my fourth string has got the second finger on the second fret. The third finger on the second fret of the third string. And the, the fourth finger goes on the second fret of the second string. And my high E is being played open. Okay, so basically that shows you how to read a chord grid or a chord frame or chord box, whatever you want to call it. So now that you know how to read the chord grids and you know what the names of the different parts of the guitar is, we can actually move along and start learning some chords. So I'll see you in the next bit where we're going to look at a couple of chords.